hi guys you're welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys um a beans recipe that i would usually make back then in my home in my house rather so i had brothers that for one reason or the other they didn't love eating beans i don't understand why but when i started making beans this way the they started enjoying it and every time i made beans they would always want to eat more I decided that okay I'm going to share this recipe with you now that we are in this hibernation period who knows you might want to make beans for your children to eat especially those ones that don't like eating beans and you know that beans is very good so you might just want to use this recipe to make that very delicious bean for the ingredients I'm going to be using these Oloin beans from AF and O Limited um, I'm going to use everything some palm oil or vegetable oil if you don't want palm oil you can use vegetable oil but for me i use palm oil you use some salt a piece of garlic a tablespoon of tomato puree i have one scotch bonnet a red bell pepper i have my bouillon cubes and then i have plantain you might want to eat it with plantain anyhow you want it whether roasted fried or boiled you might also want to eat the beans with um, rice yam you know bread gary just whatever thing it's a very versatile meal then you pick out the stones and the chaff from the beans you don't want to be eating something that you won't enjoy you can see the quantity of chaffs stone and dead beans that came out from the packaged beans. So I already washed the beans like about three times. I'll show you guys what it is like now. I do that in order to you know take out all the chemical preservatives that were put in the beans. So that's the beans and then um, as you can see I put so much water in it. So I have all the ingredients I earlier mentioned washed and chopped. I'm just going to put it into a blender, pour some water, blend, and then put it on fire. So my beans has boiled for about 15 minutes. I'm just going to pour out this water now, put in fresh water, put in some onions, and put it back on fire. What you guys don't know is onions actually makes beans very soft and then fasten the cooking process. So fam, this is what the beans actually looks like now. Everything is soft. So I already put in um, two seasoning cubes. I'm just going to go on now to fry the pepper and then I'll be pouring it into it. It's sizzling. It means it's dried. So this is what my beans look like. I don't want to let it completely dry. So I'm still going to cook it again for a while. Taste for salt and stock. This is the end product. I want it watery because when it gets cold, it's going to get thicker. Probably see the end product on my thumbnail or when I'm about to eat. So you guys, this is my end product. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.